in the future of space, a space company will hope to land on the moon the next time it gets a chance. That moon lander suffered a fuel leak after it successfully launched. Now News 6's James Barbero has an update on the mission failure just in time for the next high-profile launch set up on the Space Coast. So on the eve of the first astronaut launch of the year, that's the fully private Axiom Mission 3 on the countdown clock now. We're also closing in on the abrupt ending of a major uncrewed mission. Last week, I was in this location recording the first launch of the new Vulcan Centaur from United Launch Alliance, carrying the first commercial spacecraft ever to launch on a mission to the moon. The Peregrine from Astrobotic would have been the first American spacecraft to land on the moon since Apollo 17, but within hours after launch, Astrobotic reported the fuel leak that would ultimately doom the landing attempt, and now the company reports it expects Peregrine to burn up in Earth's atmosphere on Thursday. It's incredibly exciting. This is 16 years in the making. And Despite the anticipated loss of his spacecraft, John Thornton, the CEO of Astrobotic, who I interviewed before the launch, is still crediting his employees for their resiliency working through the adversity of the last week. Astrobotic says it extended the life of Peregrine several days longer than expected after the fuel leak, and some of the science experiments on board were even able to go online. Another space journalist who covered the launch of Vulcan and Peregrine, Bill Harwood, space expert from CBS News. Bill, of course, with the moon landing ultimately being a failure, how important is it that Astrobotic still has the support from NASA? NASA is saying that once Astrobotic can try again, they've got their full support. Absolutely. You know, this is a critical program to NASA's Artemis Moon program. That's the program to land astronauts back on the moon. NASA's counting on these small commercial landers to kind of pave the way. So they're all in. And back to tomorrow's mission, the four crew members of AX-3 are scheduled to launch to the International Space Station on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon capsule at 5.11 in the afternoon. An update tonight will tell us if everything remains on target. You can look for that update tonight on News 6 at 11 and on ClickOrlando.com. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6.